Good morning, Hopper class, and welcome to your English lesson today. Now, oh, I have a story to tell you before we go on to our lesson. Guess what happened to me over the holidays? So I was out for a walk with my family and it was a little bit rainy, um, but then it stopped raining. So I took off my hood, put my down on my umbrella and was walking out um, in the park and having a lovely day. And then all of a sudden, something landed on my head. What do you think it could have been? I thought so too. I thought it might've been bird poop. So I was touching my head and I thought, oh no, I don't want to have bird poop. But when I touched my head, it wasn't bird poop at all. Do you wanna know what it was? It was a meatball. It was a meatball. Can you believe that? And I took out this meatball and then I looked and then some spaghetti fell on my head and I thought oh my dear I better get back home I don't want meatballs and spaghetti to be landing on my head so I ran all the way back home and then I got home and I called Miss Hargreaves and I said Miss Hargreaves guess what happened I was out for a walk with my family and meatballs and spaghetti landed on my head she said oh my dear Mrs Savage I said do you know what I know a story about that. And it reminds me of a story now. Hmm, do you know what that story could be? Well, we are going to go over some of our vocabulary words today, some new vocabulary words that we are gonna be learning and using in our new story this half term. And so I want you to have a think. Do you know what story Miss Hargreaves could be thinking about? What story might have spaghetti and meatballs falling from the sky. Hmm, have a think and we'll see if you're right later on in the week. So let's start. So our objective today is, can I use new vocabulary? So this is new words. They're all words that you will know, but we're gonna be learning about them and making sure we can spell them correctly for our story. So remember our magpie list. So what you're gonna do today with each new word I want you to either copy the word out and draw me a picture or ready for a challenge take the word and write it in a sentence okay so we are learning about the days of the week now we all know the days of the week but we're learning to spell them and each day of the week starts with a capital letter because it is a proper noun is the name of that day so my turn your turn monday tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well done. So for each of these words, you could write a sentence. On Monday, I woke up and went to school. Maybe on Saturday, I play football. Or think of something that you do on each day. Or you can just practice writing them out, especially Tuesday, that U and that E, that OO sound lots of children get mixed up and here there's a duh in wednesday so you need to think wednesday wednesday and put that duh in so practice the spelling they all end with day which you all will be able to spell day so you should know that but i want you to look at the rest of the spellings okay look we've got the saturday there's our special friend that was one of our words when we did our phonics that Thursday, there's the er sound again. So especially the two that I want you to focus on, okay, is going to be Tuesday and Wednesday, okay? I want you to look at those two words and make sure you can spell them correctly. Now, our next word is tornado, tornado. <gasps> now, a tornado is winds when it's a big wind tunnel and it comes down from the sky and it picks up, starts at the bottom and it picks up all the way to the top. So, and you will see it going through and it takes up lots of stuff in its path. So sometimes in a movie, you might see a tornado with like cars and things flying around, but this is a tornado. <gasps> Next word is downpour, downpour. Now you can see from this picture, a downpour is when it rains a lot really fast. So a lot of times if you're outside, you'll get drenched, you'll get soaked. Even having an umbrella won't help. 
So it's a downpour. The next word is flooded, flooded. So you can see in this picture, the road is flooded. So either there was lots of rain and it got flooded, or maybe there was a river or somewhere nearby that when it got too high, it overflowed onto the road. So we have flooded. Then we have drizzle, drizzle. So you can see from this picture, drizzle, it's not a lot of rain. It's a little bit of rain, kind of like um, this morning when you woke up, it can be a little bit drizzle, might be drizzling out. Um, usually doesn't last too long, just a little bit of rain. So if we go back, we have drizzle, flooded, downpour, tornado. So what I would like you to do is I am going to just here, take this um, word and I am going to just put them here for you, okay? So you can then copy um, them down if they will, if it will help you rather than having to go back to each slide. Um, and then you can copy them down, practice writing them, okay? Um, and then practice also doing the days of the week. So let's double check. We've got tornado, downpour, flooded, and drizzle. So those are the four that I want you to practice writing out. Neat handwriting, practice them out. You can write them into a sentence if you'd like or draw a little picture. That'd be fun to draw a tornado next to it. So practice those words. And then I want you to practice writing out the days of the week. Okay, so that is your activity. So practice writing out those words neatly and correct spelling. And then maybe we'll find out what story this week we're going to be learning about in um, Talk for Writing in English. I wonder what it could be about. I can't wait to see. Bye.